uh, he's at least got an eight metres head start over Hamilton. Wins from pole here, 10 out of 16 previous races. Who's going to win today? It's lights out and away we go. Even start from the front two. And Verstappen goes off the track and that gives the lead to Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton, Verstappen, Bottas, Perez. Sainz now looking to make a move on the Red Bull. Behind him comes Pierre Gasly. But Max Verstappen, what a poor turn two that was for him. And locking up. And if you don't make the corner through turn one, you're supposed to go through an escape road and through a zigzag chicane as well if you don't go the correct side of the bollard. It cost Max Verstappen dear is at the rear of the field. Both Latifi and Russell battling away the two Williams. Latifi has got ahead of his teammate already. Daniel Ricciardo is going to go for it, isn't he, on Fernando Alonso. Lando Norris has gained right up on Fernando Alonso. Lando Norris is going to go down the inside. And Lebose, nice opportunist move from Lando Norris. I think everyone is just struggling. Yeah, copy that. Uh, even craning spotted on the on the hard runners as well. Yeah, plan B. Plan B, could this be a two-stop race after all? So Hamilton has to now get his foot down to watch out for the undercut from Max Verstappen. They can't afford any kind of delay on Hamilton's pit stop. Hamilton stops, Verstappen making his way around turn 12. Very neat change there. Hamilton comes out, is he ahead of Max Verstappen? No, he is not. Max Verstappen pulls the undercut on Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton was told to give it everything, but for once, Hammer Time didn't give him enough time. This seems to be turning into a two-stop race that was originally going to be a one-stop race. Uh, he forced me off. This idiot doing. He even went off himself. A Red Bull pulled an absolute masterstroke here in keeping Perez out for so long. Here goes Lando Norris on the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. There goes Pierre Gasly on Charles Leclerc. Leclerc even locks up as Gasly goes past him. And pick confirm, please, Max. Box, pick confirm. Right, now this swings around. It is a two-stop race as far as Max Verstappen and Red Bull are concerned. Let's watch the tyres go on. It's mediums for the end of the race. No problem with that pit stop, and he's back out. We're watching Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo swap positions, and that makes absolute sense down at McLaren, because Norris is on much fresher tyres, having pitted that much later. Here comes Max then. Max has got both Mercedes clearly in sight now. Oh, this is, this is going to boil down to the last five or six laps, uh, potentially, of epic racing here. DRS as well, he gains on the Mercedes, he gains on the Mercedes, can't get past the Mercedes, he won't, he won't but he's corner. gone wide, oh, he did. Bottas yeah. goes wide, and it's through scene they go, wheel to wheel, side by side, and they come out of the corner with a Stappen in second place. Now it's game on, but Hamilton somehow is magicking up some pace out of those tyres. Why the f*** no one listens to me when I say it's going to be a two-stopper? hell. to Verstappen, 2.3 seconds as here goes Perez now on Bottas to the chicane. We saw Bottas run wide there when he was passed by Max Verstappen. Three. Pulls out now to the left-hand side of that Mercedes and by the time they hit the scene corner, Sergio Perez is up into the podium places. He's going to get a good slipstream and he's going to put Hamilton uncomfortable as he breaks at the end of the straight. At the start of this race, 
Verstappen gifted almost Hamilton the lead. They've got it back and they've retaken uh, that lead. Yes, they have. Max Verstappen goes past Lewis Hamilton and for the second time in this race has managed to get his Red Bull out of a bit of trouble. This time it was a strategy that asked him to do all the work and with one and a bit laps to go, Verstappen retakes the lead of the French Grand Prix. Simply lovely. Come on, mate. He sees the chequered flag and he wins the French Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton, who had the long time lead and a one stop strategy for Mercedes, has to settle for second this afternoon. Sergio Perez provided great support to his teammate and to his team to come home and take the final podium place as well. If we can beat them here, we'll beat them anywhere. That's what Christian Horner said about Red Bull and racing at Paul Ricard. And beat them they have. Red Bull triumph over Mercedes today. And we only have a week to wait until the next instalment of this enthralling season when we go to Austria for round eight. Of course, not an easy race. Um, of course, happy that I won. But you can see it's so close between the two teams. Um, so a strategy decision can make, can make the difference. Um, so hopefully, um, yeah, you will see this for the rest of the season. Underlyingly, they were just much quicker than us this weekend. We're losing three and a half tenths just in a straight line. So you saw him fly past me down the straight. There was nothing I could do to keep him behind. Yeah, disappointing, you know. Um, at least got some points, which I haven't. I can't remember the last time I got points. So that's something. But uh, I think it could have been a lot more today as a team. It was more of a strategy win today. That's where we we gained all of our time, and. Um, and effectively got P5. So, yeah, not the smoothest of races, but a lot of things went to plan and we had good pace, had good tyre management and, yeah, ended up with fifth and sixth as a, as a team. Battled, fought, talked some smack, <laughs> elbows out, uh, and then had to, yeah, hold off, you know, a fast uh, charging gas in Alonso at the end. So, um, yeah, all in all, a, a, a good race.